here all alone in the very haunted church that is filled with dolls and I know that some of them are haunted. She looks possessed. We are in an incredibly haunted building. I actually feel really creeped out. There is a tall, black, shadowy figure that a lot of people have seen around here. Freaking creepy. Can you give me a sign to show me that you're around? Some of these dolls are haunted. Came back to the church, the doll had moved. She scares me. <laughs> and after looking at all the dolls, I just felt short of breath. Maybe there's something going on with this doll. Whoa. The doll. What is that? Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt and happy early Halloween. We are so close to the end of October. I cannot believe it. I am getting so, so excited. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying my videos all October long. It's been so fun to pull out some amazing content for you guys. But now to close our October, I've brought you back to an incredibly haunted place. Some of you may actually remember this on my channel from last year, and you might also remember it being a pretty active place. So I'm really, really excited for tonight's paranormal investigation, but I gotta warn you guys, we're doing things a little bit different tonight and I think it's pretty unique and you probably haven't seen anyone else do this anywhere so stay tuned to see what we're getting up to. Old Talem Town is the largest pioneer village in Australia made up of over 100 different buildings all of which contain vast amounts of history. Many of the buildings in Talem Town are over 100 years old and some are claimed to be very haunted. No building here holds as fierce a paranormal reputation as the old church, where shadow figures and a little boy have been seen. I was drawn back to investigate the church after hearing a story about a doll within the building appearing to have been moved on its own. This also inspired me to gather dolls from all around Talem Town, as well as some others that are known to be haunted, and place them inside the church. Will this change the energy within this haunted building? or elicit a paranormal response. There's only one way to find out. All right, Crypt Keepers, welcome to the Wolseley Church. You have seen this on my channel before. It is one of the most haunted areas here at Old Talem Town. I'm gonna to link my previous videos below, but we're also gonna recap them in this video. So if you haven't seen them before, don't worry, you won't miss out on anything. Now, Jared and I filmed here last October and it was, pretty active. We had some really compelling evidence and things happen right here in this building and there are some pretty spooky stories about it. But I wanted to go one extra level and basically bring in a bunch of dolls. <laughs> and not just any dolls, some of these dolls are haunted. And I tell you that because I've had experiences with some of these dolls. So I'm not gonna tell you which ones, uh, you'll meet, be meeting them very soon in my first video of November, but some of these dolls I own, and I'll tell you what, at least one of them scares the shit out of me. So I've bought um, a bunch of dolls. A lot of these dolls are also from Old Talem Town. So there's over a hundred buildings here, guys. A lot of those buildings themselves are over a hundred years old, and a lot of those buildings are said to be haunted. Now, I can't tell you that all of these dolls are haunted, but all of these dolls have their own stories. They all have their own past. They're all quite old. They, some of them come from very haunted buildings. And I feel like we're gonna get into some pretty crazy investigating tonight to A, see if we get any reaction from my actual haunted dolls. We are also gonna see if, you know, maybe the, any of the other dolls are haunted. Maybe they have attachments, or maybe it's just gonna change the energy of things here in the church. Now, I do have some stories about the dolls that I will share, and at least one of these dolls has, kind of belongs in the church, but it has been moved before, which I find quite intriguing. And the way that it was moved is, ooh, maybe like something didn't like this doll. So what have I done? Bought a whole bunch of dolls into the church. <laughs> but yeah, if you take a look, there's so many dolls that I found from all around town, and some of them are really, really creepy. Uh, this one you guys might actually recognize. This is Lucy. So this is the doll that I played my paranormal game with. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch it, but you can see her. She's cut open and she has my fingernail inside of her, <laughs> which makes her way more creepy. But we've got a beautiful doll, doll over here with new eyes. 
and I mean they're all just different and unique. Some are quite dirty, some you can tell are older than others, some seem quite new. This one here is one of my favourites. Now dolls aside, hopefully we find out tonight if they are haunted, but remember guys, we are in an incredibly haunted building. So the Wolsey Church, this place was built in the year 1900 and it wasn't always here. It's actually been relocated from Victoria. So you'll find that with a lot of the buildings here at Tatum Town, it's kind of like an artificial ghost town where all of these old like disused buildings have been relocated and moved here to create like essentially a little town, which I love, it's very cute. You guys can visit in the day as well if you're in South Australia, I highly recommend it. Also just wanna note there's a lot of dust here. I don't know if you can see and you think that I'm surrounded by like orbs, but it's just dust. <laughs> so as far as hauntings go guys, there are some very interesting ones here. There is a tall, black, shadowy figure that a lot of people have seen around here. And he has been sighted so often that the staff uh, that run the ghost tours here have actually given him a nickname. He's been dubbed Ted, which I think makes him a little bit cuter and less scary. But apparently he is a tall dude and it's kind of intimidating to see him because he's always shadowed, always very, very dark. So the person who runs the ghost tours here, which is Adelaide's Haunted Horizons, guys, you need to check them out. So Alison has told me a story last time that we were here that she, you know, this one time she was giving a tour. So she was standing at the front of the church and through this back door here, she seen this dark shadow figure walk, walk in. She wasn't the only one to sight it, at least one other person did, but everyone else on the tour who were just sitting in the pews heard them come in. They walked in, walked to this corner behind me, and she thought that it was another uh, staff member, so called out, didn't get a response, so thought that was weird. So she shone the torch in the back corner, and there was nobody there. So I think that's really, really interesting. And that, I think, has kind of happened a few times in and around the church. So he's also been seen all throughout town. So that is interesting to me. We also have the spirit of a young boy here. This young boy was, he died, he passed away when he was only five years and nine months and his name is Ian. Now his story I think is actually pretty incredible because he was previously kind of unknown here as a spirit. So some people had claimed to see the, the spirit of a young boy here, a young child, but it never really, I don't know if you heard that. I just heard something behind me, but it never really, <laughs> anyway, it never really fit into anything with the church. And then allegedly on one of the, the tours, one of the visitors here in the t church almost like took on like the persona of a young boy. And it was very strange and very interesting. So, you know, they did some digging and in some very, very old newspapers, they found that in 1918 on this property, a young boy named Ian actually drowned. So it's believed that that young spirit uh, could have been that boy. But what was really, really interesting is to the date, it was the anniversary of the young boy's death that this woman was like overcome by the spirit. So I find that very, very interesting. And I'll tell you what, we had some pretty cool activity when we were here last time, which I'll talk to maybe a little bit later in the video, because there's one other building that I want to take you guys to and show you and talk to a little bit because we will be investigating that place too. So let's go take a look at the old schoolhouse. So this is the next building that I want to show you guys and where I kind of want to investigate because we didn't get to really touch on it last time and I think it's actually a really really creepy building. This is a very very old schoolhouse so come on in. So isn't this place amazing? This is an old schoolhouse that dates back to 1881. And just look around at like all of the tables, like how amazing this place looks.
I'm actually really, really excited about this building and, you know, the chance to investigate it tonight because we're also going to bring in the dolls a bit later on. So we're going to move all of our dolls from the church here into this old 1800s schoolhouse. And I really feel like it could fit into the energy because you think about little kids and all that and it might actually stir up some more paranormal activity. I don't know. Like, it, I just think it's going to be really interesting. So what is cool about this, this room, not just because it, it looks amazing and it's super old and it's filled with all these creepy artifacts, but there has been some weird paranormal occurrences to happen in here. And one of those that I've been told by the staff at Adelaide's Haunted Horizons is that they almost play school, like they play teacher. So you could stand at the front of the classroom and, you know, call out questions to your class, but your class isn't there. They're just like spirits, I guess. And sometimes they'll get really relevant or like correct or very close responses through on their paranormal equipment. So I think that that could be like a game that we play later, like playing teacher, playing school. Plus we're gonna have all the dolls in here. So like, I don't know if they're haunted dolls, maybe they'll be like the students or something. But yeah, stay tuned for this because I have like a bit of a secret for you guys. You're gonna get a bonus episode this week. You're actually gonna get a video drop on Halloween because Halloween falls outside of my normal posting schedule. So instead of getting, you know, two videos in that particular week, you're gonna get three. So I'm very excited. So now that I've kind of given you a look around, we're pretty much just waiting to lose the light. Once it gets dark, we will start reaching out and start investigating. But I do have a bit of like a special announcement. So yeah, we have a bonus video this week, but I've also organized with Adelaide's Haunted Horizons to do like a, a special event here at Taylor Town. So if anybody is watching and you're in South Australia and you want to come and investigate the church and the schoolhouse for yourself, but investigate the church and the schoolhouse filled with dolls and with me, you can. So we're probably looking to pick a date sometime in December. So we don't have a ticketing up yet or a date yet, but it'll be coming very soon. And the first place that you'll probably hear about it is over on Adelaide's Haunted Horizons Facebook page, which I'll link below. So make sure you guys go follow them. Follow me on Facebook as well, because I'll definitely be posting once the tickets go live. But that's just something that I'm really excited for and looking forward to. Not only because I get to investigate here with all the dolls further, but also meet some of my crypt keepers. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, just pretty much waiting to lose the light now, guys. Now that night has fallen, the church is looking spectacular and spooky. We're about to head inside and start our investigation. I've already been in and set up a lot of the paranormal equipment that I want to kind of play around with tonight. Uh, but we're going to go in and try call out, do a few experiments and kind of talk about what happened last time. Remembering that this whole freaking town is haunted. So <laughs> it's pretty weird. Also, there's like a cemetery just in here. Ooh. So these were all relocated um, from graves that were in land that was being reclaimed after like being, I don't know, after 99 years you can reclaim the land I guess and no one claimed those gravestones so they were either going to be destroyed or bought here so I like that they've been saved. This door is super creepy. Just the noise. Yeah. Sounds like a bedroom door <laughs> creeped by that too. Actually maybe make sure the door closes. <laughs> Or it might blow shot while we're investigating. There's anyone in this, this church and you want to communicate with us? Don't be shy. We're here to talk to you. We call out and we would love for you to show us that your presence is here. So I put these in. They don't all necessarily have dolls in, but I've got a cat ball in this one, so if it's... Wait, did I not turn that on? Oh, that's just a bit... In the little rocker. Less sensitive. So yeah, if like any of these are moved, they should light up. Creepy pram. Again, I've got a cat ball in this one. There's actually a doll in this one that I found in the town. Ooh. And again, we have my doll, Lucy, asleep here. And she's got a cat ball with her as well. Now, what do I have? Uh, the dolls lined up here. 
And they've got, got K2 meters. K2, some of them have cat balls as well, I'm not Ooh, sure. Ooh, finally got our first one. We do have a cat ball on the altar, obviously just went off. So those things light up if they're physically moved. Still going um, off. That happened last time that we were here at the church. Yeah. Cat ball going off on the altar. And that happened a couple times. Are you on the altar? <gasps> Ooh. One of the cat balls on the altar has gone off. Behind you here on this table, I've got the EDI. What's yep. flashing now is vibration, like it senses movement. And this is a wooden old floor, so I expect that. Uh, we've got a REM pod here, another K2 on the dolls. REM pods, that and should... And there are couples there too, so... Yeah, yep. yes, if you're close to the REM pod, it'll go off. The K2s, which are the small green light, are electromagnetic fields. People believe that ghosts can like manipulate or mess with that. I also have um, in the corner here, on top of the piano, that's a, like a paranormal music box and it's facing into the doorway. So last time we investigated here, we had paranormal music box facing into the doorway and a REM pod in the door and they both went off. All right guys, so we're just setting up a couple of pieces Alright, so Paranormal Music Box is going off by itself. Which? Oh, is that, that's a REM pod that's in there. REM pod. That's two things going off now. Oh, in this area. That's the doorway where you said you've, there's been figures seen, right? Yep, that's where the child's normally seen. Yeah. That's interesting. The music box will play if something breaks the infrared beam that comes out of the front of it. So basically if something passes through there, obviously there was nothing in the doorway, so it's interesting. But a lot of people have seen the little boy there. And he hangs out in the room that is sort of in the back there. It looks really creepy at night. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty creepy back there. So the... Um, Ovulus, which I should get out actually. I don't think I put that out, but last time uh, we were here that went off a couple of times The first word that it said was students That's, oh. Students? Students. Students. There is a school next door And I found that really interesting given given that the schoolhouse is directly next door uh, It also said pray Pray, which is pretty freaking compelling because we're in a church, right? So that seems pretty relevant. It also said a couple of other words like witch and stuff, so pretty interesting. But what I might do is I might get out the ovulus, uh, I might also run a ghost tube session, and then we might go completely lights out and like see if anyone wants to play around with the dolls. The dolls are here for you. So many of them. It might have just been me turning around yeah, oh, okay. on the wood. It sounded very creepy. <laughs> yeah, these wooden floorboards are really creaky. All right, so yeah, maybe let's get those out and go lights off. Cat was going off. Got it. Oh, cat ball was going off while Amy was setting up for the next experiment. Got to be quick. That one's gone off again. Damn, I don't know if I got that one. <laughs> that one down there keeps going off. Yes. Maybe you should sit by that one, Ames. You reckon? Yeah, maybe. Alright, let me turn this on. Should I put the old <laughs> gateway? Oh, that, is that sounds Why so creepy. Why does the voice have to be so creepy? Disturb, purified. So it's a gateway and purify? That's sort of churchy, right? Gateway, disturbed, purified. Alright guys. So we're completely lights out now. Sorry, that's just me moving and getting comfortable. Oh, I shouldn't touch the view. What are we? All right, guys. So we're completely. <gasps> What's flashing? What is flashing? What was that? In this moment, both Jared and I noticed flashing in the church. It turns out this was the torch or flashlight in my pocket. 
though I could have leaned on the torch turning it on. This was odd as the light has never flashed in this manner, which I do demonstrate here. This wasn't necessarily paranormal, but was paired with multiple spikes on the ghost tube electromagnetic sensor, which you can see on screen in the green bar, making the event all the more intriguing. I don't know if you can see it on camera because we're in the dark, but there was light oh. flashing on the wall. My torch is on. What the hell? This is not even a setting that it has. It's never flashed. It does a quick flash, but it's never yeah, done no, that. Hang on. Alright, this is its. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. It has on full strength, on second strength. And then strobe. And it always looks like this for strobe. And we got a cold now it's off. and we had a cold drop on the EDI just there. Just now. Wasn't filming it because I was filming you. So yeah, I've never seen the torch do that before. So it was like a slow on off setting, which it's, it doesn't uh, have. Yeah, it's doing other things as well. What colour was that? Red and Well on the EDI. Red and green maybe? On the EDI. <gasps> there it goes. <gasps> Whoa! What did it say? <laughs> it said pray. What the hell? And um, exactly what the obelisk said last time that we were here. Oh, that's so creepy. Pray. What? And we had a cold temperature drop over here at the same time. Yeah, and funny. your torch was going crazy. And this it's, is weird. It's going again. Um, what? That, that is. Oh. Is, is there someone in here with me? Are you able to give me another word? Can you make a noise for us, maybe? Are you sitting at that table? I just heard a tap. That was my chair. Okay. Do I have a spare cat ball for that table? <gasps> so that means. Is that no, that means um, cold temperature. Blue does, but what's... I think the other one is air pressure, isn't it? Something like that. What's interesting as well is I chose to sit in this particular pew because the doll down the end Don't here... Don't come in. We're already in. Or are you telling someone else not to come in? You know, if I think about it in that context, the little boy kind of hides in the back room because he's a bit shy or scared. Maybe. And I would guess doesn't really like Ted. Ted is the nickname of the big dark entity that a lot of people have seen here, so. Well, yeah, maybe it's the boy telling us not to come in the back room. It could be that. Or it could be him telling Ted not to come in. Who were you referring to then? Who were you telling not to come in? Now last time we were here, we did have um... Demon. <laughs> this is a church, it's not a place for a demon. I'm also noting there's a freeway out there, so I can hear a large truck passing by. I'm sorry, it's just me. Um, yeah, we did ask uh, the spirits to make a noise for us, and we got some pretty like intelligent tap responses. If there's someone in here, can you make a noise for us? Can you tap on something like this? Just one noise so that we know that you're here. That. Are you able to knock on something or tap on something like this? Can you make us uh, some sort of noise to let us know that you're in the room here? Maybe you can go towards one of the dolls. We bought the dolls here for you. I heard a tap at the back. That was a tap. That 
or so. Honestly, that doesn't sound like the building either. That. Can you tap twice for me? To me, it sounded like a tap on a pew. Or like someone sitting on a pew and because they're wooden, it kind of creaking. That's what it sounded like to me. What the hell was that? Oh, that's the cat ball. <laughs> More cat ball action. That's what the second time that one has gone off. Soldier. Soldier. Is there a soldier? I think here? we just had a K2. This K2 just went off too. This place is crazy. Oh, that's cool. I think, I'm not sure if I got it on camera or not. I might have just been out of frame. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a bit of a story. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring all of these dolls in here to the church. Because I guess it does seem odd that we've just bought all these dolls in here. But I'm going to bring Ghost Tube with me. Do you want to move over so we're kind of near this other pew? These are magnetic fluctuations. Wait, whoa, whoa I just nearly stepped on that doll. Oh, can you have some here? Yeah, thank you. That altar is going off again. Oh my god, it keeps going off. Okay. So there's one particular doll here that always pretty much lives in the church. And it's this one. Canada. Right? Canada. One of these dolls was made in Canada. I don't know if this one was. I know that's a stretch, it could be a random fluctuation that triggered that word, so. Um, this doll here, so I'm not sure if you can see this one's face. <clears throat> it's yeah. a lovely doll, I guess, maybe a little bit creepy. <laughs> but this doll here, uh, I think we talk, spoke about it in my uh, videos last year. But that particular doll lives in the back room, permanently in this church. It actually, that's the altar cat ball. Um, oh, it's gone off again. Yeah. Jeez. It looks super freaky, lighting up that mannequin priest as well. <laughs> Hang on, mannequin priest? Oh yeah, I see him. So creepy. So, the doll lives over there. And it lives in a, like a weaved basket with some hay and a little blanket. And essentially the doll's name is Jesus because the doll plays Jesus in like a nativity scene. So that is why it is in the church. And that is why it's kind of like named Jesus and in a straw little basket. So Alison was telling me a story about the doll who we'll refer to as Jesus. And... That doll, one day they came in, they were just kind of setting up for a tour, I think they were. They went in the back room, the doll was where it normally is. I went around to the, the places that they do their tour here at Taylor Town. When they came back to the church, the doll had moved and it was like the doll was on the floor as if it had either, I don't know, like crawled out of its little basket or been thrown across the floor or something. And that, like, I'm just getting chills talking about that and that ball's going off. Again. So, and again. Can you light up a different ball? Well, it, it was lighting up the one down there earlier on. Yeah. And none of us are moving, so it's definitely not the floorboards. It's interesting, because I haven't been doing that until just now. Like, well, let's talk about baby Jesus as it starts lighting up the ball. So that leads me to think a couple of things. Maybe there's something going on with this doll. Like, nobody really knows the history or the past of these dolls. So maybe there's something attached to the doll. I don't know. And I'm not going to tell you that there definitely is, but it's interesting and weird, right? Or maybe there's something in the church that doesn't like the doll. Maybe it's like it doesn't like the doll. Maybe it doesn't like what the doll represents, nativity, Jesus. Maybe it's just like it doesn't like the innocence of the doll. I'm not sure. 
I just felt like bringing all of these other dolls in and interacting directly with the Baby Jesus doll could be a very interesting experiment. And by the way, that hasn't stopped that whole time Amy was talking. Yeah. It Are you really flashing is... that because of Baby Jesus? Yes. <laughs> Do you want us to... Can we take Baby Jesus home? No. Should we leave baby Jesus here? <gasps> is this is this actually talking to us? Try it. Stop flashing the ball. <laughs> Can you push that ball off of the table? If you don't push the ball off of the table, I'm gonna go out there and turn it off so you can't flash it anymore. If you don't push that ball off the table, I'm gonna take baby Jesus home with me. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh, that was me, sorry. Jesus. <gasps> oh, sorry. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have used the Jesus's. What? I just stopped the ghost tube app, and when I did it, I knocked my torch over. So oh. Like Alright guys, so now we've kind of moved into the back room of the church. Reason being, this is where the little boy is said to kind of hide out. It's also the place where the baby Jesus doll got kind of thrown across the room possibly crawled across the room, we don't really know. So I've set up the baby Jesus on the floor and I've also set up the Ghost Tube SLS app to kind of film the area back here with baby Jesus. And basically what that does is it uses the multiple uh, cameras on the iPhone to pick up depth in the environment and then it uses augmented reality software, which is a very like high end to kind of Analyze that area and look for humanoid shaped figures. So anything that resembles a body, it will pick up. Would you give it now, a test to demonstrate? Yeah, so I'll walk into shop and you all should see me. It doesn't look like, it doesn't appear to be mapping baby Jesus. So he must look like another little blob down there not to be picked up. And it doesn't really appear that we're getting any other false positives going on in the area. So that's good if anything does for some reason appear. It makes it more interesting. So I'm actually going to leave this alone, leave the room, leave the whole church for a little while. And yeah, we'll just see what we pick up. guys so this is like a super weird creepy shot of me but i'm back in the church so we left uh the ghost tube sls running for a while and i've just come back and stopped that and i've left jared alone in a different part of um 
uh, the town. And I've come back to the church because I wanted to come back and, you know, be by myself in here. So basically I'm going to go lights out and reach out and I'm extremely creeped out because I'm here all alone in the very haunted church that is filled with dolls and I know that some of them are haunted. So let's go lights out and do this. Alright guys, so I'm completely lights out now. So all I've got is my like infrared booster light and the camera. So it's completely dark in here. I can probably um go like that, that's how dark it is. There is no light here at all. So I'm gonna show you my view. So I'm gonna flick the camera around. So I'm sitting basically at the front of the church. So you can see the dolls on the pews here. I can't wait to show you my haunted dolls as well, guys. That video will be my first video of November. Oh my gosh. If there's somebody here and you just lit up that ball on the doll directly in front of me, her name is Lucy. Are you able to do that again for me? I've got other balls in this room. Maybe you can find those too. It's just me and you in here. If there is someone else in here. Can you give me a sign to show me that you're around? Can you walk towards your favorite doll? There is a big truck going by right now. Is Ian here? The young boy? A lot of people have seen you before. In this chapel. Do you like that I bought some dolls here for you? Can you move one of the dolls? It's pretty weird that that cat ball went off before on Lucy. Can you make a loud noise for me to show me that you're here? I think the worst part about the church is that and he's like kind of behind me. I would love for you to come up close to me or to the dolls. Are you able to make something happen for me to let me know that you're here? Can you make one of these devices go off and tell me your name? Gosh, I hope there's nothing behind me. What is that? Big one on the end is freaking me out for some reason. Well, this doll. That doll is giving me weird vibes. And I just zoomed in on her and her eyes are like... She looks possessed, I'm not gonna lie. Another doll that freaks me out. This one has no eyes. Honestly, it's so weird. Also, this one here on the end. Its limbs don't seem right and 
I don't know, but it's just weirds me out. Can you go towards one of the green lights? Please. If you walk right up to them, they might turn different colours. Can you make another sound for me, please? really weird just sitting here in the dark guys it's super super weird just sitting here and I'm like got a, this rows of dolls like facing me I actually feel really creeped out I don't know if I feel creeped out because of the situation I am in knowing I'm in a haunted church there's all these dolls here I know at least some of them are supposed to be haunted one has been thrown across a room one of them is my one of my haunted dolls which you'll meet the first video of November she scares me <laughs> I don't know that some of you will think that's crazy to hear but I don't trust that doll at all I'm not going to tell you which one maybe you can guess but all right so this is I've just turned my torch on so you can kind of see a bit better just the whole room and the other things that I have kind of going down the aisle so we have like an old school pram and an old school crib at the back and then I've got this crib here that's just Lucy's crib now another thing that I want to bring up about um, Lucy is that I had a couple of comments about her after I did the paranormal ritual with her and I filmed her like, sort of sleeping next to me while I was asleep. There was a number of people that said that they could see black mist coming out of her eyes as she slept. And I'm curious, like if anyone goes back and watches that um, video, it's called Hide and Seek Alone or something. But yeah, like, did you see that too? I don't know, it's just weird. So again, guys, I'm in this church completely alone along the pew i'll show you some of the dolls so again purified disturb gateway on the ovelis nothing else has come through all night and that could have just been when it was calibrating when i first turned it on but all of these dolls are weird this cat ball was also going off earlier with this doll on the end jared said he saw one of the k2s light up i don't think it was for this doll I actually think it might have been for this doll. I'm not sure if he caught it on camera, but I mean, that's interesting, right? This doll I mentioned earlier freaks me out just because its face and like its limbs just don't seem right, like in proportion. This doll, I don't know, it freaks me out. Now I have a cat ball in this crib. And another one in this one, and there's actually a cute, the cutest little baby in there. <laughs> so over this way, this is the doll with the weird eyes. Honestly, maybe it's the type of eye that this doll has that looked weird in the night vision, but it looked kind of possessed and I hadn't noticed the eyes being weird earlier before that either. Some cute babies here and I love this one. This one's got creepy eyes as well. This one got some creepy eyes going on too. And of course, you've got some creepy eyes, ma'am. Also, uh, sorry about your hand. I don't know what's going on with that. Another little baby really had too much action down this end so say with this doll and um, we've got baby Jesus here so I would love for baby Jesus to have something happen Should tell you what baby Jesus has some messed up eyes as well what happened to this doll's eyes okay I just heard something weird back there can you make another noise? 
Oh my gosh, I'm like short of breath. Okay. Yeah, that's freaking creepy. <sighs> yeah, guys, I don't know what's going on. Just all of a sudden when I stood up then after looking at all the dolls, I just felt short of breath and like, maybe because I was just on my knees or something. But when I got up, short of breath and also like just a bit panicked like anxious anxiety um so i don't know what's with that maybe what i could do as well i could do like a spirit box for you guys so i might go set that up all right guys so jared is actually back now he came back and like scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> um as i was getting the spirit box to get set up so it was really weird and kind of interesting to spend a bit of time here alone but he's back now, so he's behind the camera. I'm just gonna do the spirit box, reach out and see if that, you know, maybe we get anything through. Uh, so I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm reaching out now and I'm just using a different device. This is a different way that maybe you can communicate with me. I would love to hear your voice. If you can come close to this loud noise here on the table, maybe you can use it to say something to me, say hello or tell me your name. Are there any spirits here that are linked to, following, or attached to any of these dolls? Are you able to give us a sign whether it's saying something on this device, moving something, tapping on something, lighting up one of these lights? If you come close to this red one. Who is it that free baby Jesus across the room? Is Ian here? Ian, can you come out and say hello? We're not here to hurt you. Can you hear like a male voice? Same. I was just thinking of turning it off because I wasn't hearing any voices and as soon as I touched it. Can you say something to me clearly? I really want to know your name. Which is your favorite doll? Is it over there?
flashing? Where? Over here? Over there. I just seen something flashing. Not that I saw. Like the little, this little, um, that obelisk thing has got a few lights on it. Flash and change. What's the orange light flashing on the um, EDI mean? Oh, uh, I think that's. Um, that's no, it wasn't one of the bottom ones. It air was, pressure? Yeah, it was the air pressure one. Can you make a loud noise for me? I'm talking loud. Oh, I just got chills. Are you giving me chills? Can you make that noise again, please? My jacket is too squidgy. <laughs> I, um, it could just be because the light from the REM pod is illuminating this doll's face, the one that is right behind the REM pod. Oh yeah. It's given me a really weird feeling. It probably is the very dim light and just my eyes kind of playing tricks on me, but it looks like the face is it looks like the doll was like looking around or something. I don't know how to mm. explain it. Too blurry on night vision even when zoomed in. Yeah, I don't know. If you look at the huge doll on the end in night vision and you zoom in a bit, it's eyes. Oh my look god. Possessed. It looks possessed, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh my god, it looks like a zombie doll. Yeah. <laughs> But tonight we're focusing our efforts on the old schoolhouse that dates back to 1881. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Got thrown across the room or, you know, somehow moved on his own. What is going on outside? Some of the dolls are haunted. Just behind you. Oh my, no. <gasps> what the hell is that? There's been some crazy <laughs> happen around them, huh? Eerie and creepy in itself. Yeah, I heard it over on that side of the classroom too. There's no way we could be moving that. Can you go towards one of the dolls that you like? That actually did sound like a teacher's direction, didn't it? Or just died. Or maybe there's something attached to her. Freaks me out a bit. Is it moving? <gasps> Alright guys, so I think that we're going to leave the church at this. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Remember I have a follow-up episode coming to this one that is going to be released actually on Halloween, so on the 31st. It is kind of like a bonus video because it's outside of my normal video posting schedule. So be, you know, get ready for that one because <laughs> we're going to be mostly focusing in on the schoolhouse and that is a less investigated place. We're of course going to have all of the dolls. So I'm quite excited for that. Make sure that you guys go over and follow my friends Adelaide's Haunted Horizons on Facebook because we have the doll van coming up. Yes, we do. And they're going to be the ones to be posting tickets. That'll probably be the first place that you hear about it. So head over there, probably be in December sometime. And I'm super, super excited about it. I also just want to say, like, you guys know I've got some awesome Halloween merch. And oh, this is awkward. These are still on sale. Well, a bit more. I can't see the pumpkins. I can't. <laughs> Just showing my boobs. It's so weird. Anyway, these are still on sale and they probably will be up on sale until Halloween, maybe a couple of days after. But they're limited edition, so get yours if you want to like be full-blown Crypt Keeper and support me and what I do. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do any more reading on this place or any of the other haunted locations I've visited from around the world, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me on social media. I'm at amyscrypt.com on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I also post bonus content over my Patreon and my YouTube uh, channel memberships, which I'm linking below. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time. <laughs>